Okay, there's a picture for malaria and the malaria uh, treatments. Um, it's kind of uh, complicated, so let's jump into it. First, it starts with a female ano, uh, anophilus mosquito, anophils. It's like she's filling anal, and there's the female sign. So, anophils, uh, anophilus mosquito. She releases um, a sporozoite um, into you, <laughs> and then it travels to the to the um, the liver, and in the liver it does either two things: it moves to the hypnotizoite or the hypnozoite, which is a uh, latent form of uh, vivox or oval, plasmodium vivox or plasmodium oval, and the only what drug you need to use for that is primaquine or prime queen, kitty kitty here, primaquine. So, and that can get, it's a latent form, it can be reactivated, but the, over here they have the malaria family, <coughs> or you have plasmodium uh, malaria or plasmodium uh, falciparum, and they form marotozoites. Is the marotozoites? I don't even think I wrote that down, so let's write it down. Um, And these are the merizoites, the mer merodozoites, the merizoites. See, they're happy and they go down and they hit the red blood cells. And getting produced in the red blood cells is uh, part of that, um, the uh, plasmonium malaria and plasmonium uh, falciparum. They turn it into a trophozyte, go into amoeba form, and then the sh uh, schissant releases the more morocytes, and it goes and destroys more and more red blood cells. What happens is you get this knob of formation on the ro red blood cells, or a rosetting of malaria-infected red blood cells. This can cause a lot of problems with like splenomegaly, um, the, the filtering of the blood. There is something called a Duffy antigen, or Daffy here, for uh, Plasmodium vivox. It's a dormant antigen that uh, that might show up. Uh, and this this whole you know process can go around again. Uh, there are sulfa, the sulfa sulfa here, the sulfa drugs, the chloroguanine and the, with sulfa and the trimethoprim with sulfa and the uh, uh, pi with rim or pi rimethine with the sulfa. Those can treat the uh, their erythrocyte form, okay. Uh, also, doxycyclines, and then inside this, for sure, inside the, the erythrocyte, you got the queen, and it's the hydro um, hydroxyquine, chloroquine, quinine, um, mefloquine, those quines or quins. What the patient's going to to present with is fever. Uh, jaundice, headache, uh, like flu-like symptoms, chills, but they're going to have splenomegaly and what's called dark urine or black water um, fever, and those are the things that are going to show up. Um, complications can be acute renal failure, hemolytic anemia, um, uh, cerebral ma malaria, and uh, so you want to have this taken care of.